You know that saying, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime, that's why I poop on company time? Well, furry degenerates on Twitter decided to kind of, um, taint that saying with their own little unique spin on it. How did they taint this little saying? Well, it's quite simple, really. They tainted it with this little gem of a comic right here. And yes, I am going to sit here to let you soak up all of it. Just take in all the degeneracy. Got your fill? Good. Now let's talk about why this is degenerate shit, as well as just plain old weird. The comic is obviously about looking at questionable content at work and while well, on your work's Wi-Fi, which truly, what kind of a degenerate coomer do you have to be to stoop this low? Oh my God. They really said, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I yiff on company time. And honestly, I really hate that. And for further clarification, in case you possibly needed it, our lovely degenerate of the week decided to respond to a question asking why they look at NSFW art at school and also at work. And um, apparently sometimes, Questionable arts just find them by themselves, which is the fattest cope I've heard in a minute. But you know what? Shit popping up happens. It's even happened to me myself. I've had that uncomfortable experience where I was just scrolling through Twitter and one of my mutuals decided to be horny as fuck on main. And while I was intensely staring at a tweet, uh, the person behind me in my class probably thought I was intensely staring at the person getting railed in the above tweet. True story. A very painfully true story. Apologies again to that student in my poli sci class that saw all that shit. Um, they were never in a poli sci class again with me, so maybe I was the last straw for them. But I get it. Accidents happen, shit pops up when you don't want it to. I understand that. However, the Twitter detectives really came out of the woodwork on this one, and they all noted that the person who drew this comic drew a very specific website for the comic. Dude! What the fuck? Which, because I would never want to report fake news, uh, can confirm for myself that the website that is being drawn here is a furry NSFW site. So, uh, yeah, can confirm. Also can confirm that due to the website's colors, as well as the little dude that's the mascot for the website is drawn in the comic, this is most definitely the website that the person was talking about in the comic. So needless to say, the whole defense of sometimes it just comes up lol is most definitely not what you were going for in this comic. It's actually quite the opposite. That is just full-blown intent to peruse porn at work. Not a little uber fucky wacky. Plus, you literally say browsing questionable content in the comics, so no, don't try to backpedal on this one, bud. That ship completely sailed once you decided to include references to your comic not once, but twice. One little sneaky way, and one little outright way. Like, you really showed your ass with that part of the comic, dude. Cope harder. <laughs> and with all this in mind, all I really have to say about this is, uh, quite simple, and that is you could not waterboard this information out of me. <laughs> if I was you, I would have taken this to the grave over, you know, posting it on the internet in a mediocre comic. Like, I get it. It's one thing if it pops up on your Twitter while you're like browsing that on your lunch break at work, but it's a completely other thing to be sitting at your desk during your nine to five shift looking at fucking porn. Literally, the level of degeneracy here is beyond anything I've seen on Twitter before besides the blatantly illegal shit that I've talked about in the past. This is beyond touching grass, okay? This is go to therapy. You clearly have something wrong up there. Seriously, go discuss why you feel the need to look at porn at your desk. Cause that's definitely not normal and is probably a big red flag for something. Plus, I mean, on top of that, uh, what a great way to put your job at risk. Because while you might get a stern talking to or dismissed without notice, if somehow they see you reviewing this on their network, which could fall under gross misconduct if written in your company's policies, you also risk a sexual harassment report against you due to somebody walking by and seeing this, since this degenerate behavior can create a hostile work environment. Because shocker, most people already don't want to be at work, uh, the last thing that they want to see during their 9 to 5 shift is you looking at furry porn on their way over to make copies of invoices. And by the way, this doesn't just apply for the United States, this also applies for Maple Leaf Land, which, oddly enough, is where the person who tweeted this is from. Oh, it's the same kind of response where doing this in an open workplace isn't okay because the employer's obligation to ensure a harassment-free workplace is put at risk through your deviance. And yes, it is noted that there are several factors on whether or not you'll get fired or stern talking to or anything in between, but still, I don't really think it would be wise to fuck around and find out in this situation with your income on the line all over furry NSFW art. And now that I've said 
all of that, it is now time for the unfortunate part of the video where I say how, despite the fact that we can all call this degenerate and very weird behavior that has actual consequences due to HR departments, um, other furry degenerates on Twitter decided that this is just a normal thing to do at your nine to five shift. I really wish I was kidding. I was just about to say I do that too on work Wi-Fi. Lol. It happens to all of us. What do you mean by all of us? The last time I checked, not all of us are degenerates who can't go a simple eight hours without looking at NSFW shit. Most of us can distinguish a time and a place for our degeneracy. And maybe, just maybe, viewing NSFW furry art at work is not a good idea. In fact, it's an awful one. Like, were you raised in a barn? Are you fucking inbred? Because I promise you that the only people who think looking at NSFW art is like a totally normal thing to do at work are actual coomers who haven't left their gamer chair in years. Which, speaking of coomers, here's another one for you. These comics are incredibly mediocre, not gonna lie, but I have to defend it now because apparently it's become the target of repressive anti-sex crypto homophobes that think porn addiction is real and that glimpsing at sexual art at work when nobody is around is a degenerate mortal sin against God. You read that right, folks. If you feel uncomfortable with a coworker looking at porn at their desk in the office when you're around, you are a repressive anti-sex crypto homophobe. Tell me you've never talked to a human being outside of Discord without telling me you've never talked to a human being outside of Discord. Newsflash, uh, just because somebody feels uncomfortable with a coworker watching porn at their desk, well, you know, they're at the office and all that, it doesn't make them every single thing that you fucking hate. In all honesty, it actually just makes them a normal person who doesn't expect to see furry porn at their job, which they're probably being underpaid at as is. Because let's just be real for a second. It's really not anti-sex to not want to run the risk of seeing NSFW art at work. I'm most definitely not a crypto bro. And I'm sure that plenty of LGBT people understand what boundaries are. This bastard being one of them. So please, uh, try to make an actual argument that isn't, well, if you hate this, you're everything I hate, okay? Like, actually try to make a point. Secondly, since you decided to bring up porn addiction, we might as well talk about that, considering the fact that this definitely applies to this conversation. According to an article from Insider titled, Pornography Addiction is Not Real, According to Leading Psychologists, Here's One Porn Can Be Unhealthy, it's discussed how the DSM-5, the world's authoritative guide on psychological disorders, that pornography and sex addictions are not psychological disorders, and this is because of neurochemistry. More specifically, while parts of the brain watching porn may set off similar pleasure circuits as alcohol or drugs, experts say that it doesn't mean that you become addicted in the same way, and this is due to these substances changing your brain chemistry, whereas porn addiction is closer to a compulsion, obsessive, or habitual behavior. Yet, in the same article, it notes that people who feel they have a problematic connection with porn may experience symptoms such as engaging in risky behaviors that could jeopardize your career and social life. Which, if we're being honest, that HR violation for looking at two anthropomorphic wolves banging is most definitely jeopardizing your career. On the other hand, in research titled Online Porn Addiction, What We Know and What We Don't, a systematic review, they have a different view, stating that a number of recent studies support this entity as an addiction with clinical manifestations, such as sexual dysfunction and psychosexual dissatisfaction. However, since tolerance and abstinence are not clearly established, it can't be labeled an addiction, and therefore future research is needed on this. But despite this, out-of-control sexual behavior has been included in the ICD-11 due to clinical relevance, and per the ICD-11, diagnostic requirements include engaging in repetitive sexual behavior that is the central focus in an individual's life to the point they neglect health, personal care, interests, activities, and responsibilities, engaging in repetitive sexual behavior despite adverse consequences, and repetitive sexual behavior that results in marked distress or significant impairment in personal, social, family, educational, occupational, or other areas of functioning. Which, if you're looking at furry NSFW art daily at your job, which is an assumption based on how nonchalant you're treating this, putting yourself at risk of getting fired, also neglecting the responsibility of your job because you're looking at furry porn on the clock. You know, I'm by no means a doctor or anything, but 
Um, I am seeing a lot of boxes getting checked off here, but that's besides the point right now. My point is that while the term sex addiction is seemingly in limbo due to every expert having a different opinion and bias always being a thing that can cloud one's research as much as we don't want it to, the one thing that's agreed upon from both sides is that if you're looking at NSFW shit at work, you need to cut that shit out. So to go back to the tweet, sex addiction may not be in the DSM-5 and not technically a real term yet whatsoever, however, experts agree that you should not be looking at furries doing the horizontal tango at work, so hold that L you fucking coomer. And lastly, nobody is saying that this is a mortal sin against God. This is yet another example of you projecting, you seriously need to stop doing People are quite literally not bringing up religious reasons for why you should be doing that. People are bringing up reasons such as, you are going to lose your job because of an HR violation, you fucking degenerate. And speaking of projecting degenerates, here's another one for the books. It's so infuriating. Whiny ass prudes acting like being horny is the same as spraying acid on someone or abducting their child. It's pathetic and ignorant. Porn is an evil. Oh yes, because the coworker that decides to report this to HR because they're uncomfortable with their coworker looking at yif shit at their desk is just a whiny little prude. A brave take apparently, but truly, if you cannot go through eight hours of your day without looking at NSFW art, you probably have a fucking problem. And mind you, this is me just giving them the benefit of the doubt that they work a simple nine to five. This would be, even more embarrassing if this person was just simply working part-time. Because really, if you can't go without looking at porn for four hours? <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems like an even worse degenerate issue. We might need to wheel you away in a straight jacket for that. <laughs> also, I love how every single one of these people has just had to hurl insults and just project shit onto the people who are having the quite normal reaction of being grossed out by somebody looking at porn at work. I know, hypocritical of me because I've been calling them degenerates this whole time and even called one of them fucking inbred. <laughs> but your honor, in my defense, at least I'm able to come up with some articles and research that back up my fucking points. That's multitasking, baby. I can be a bitch and also an intellectual at the same time. My regards to the people that I've been talking about because clearly they cannot do that. Also, I sincerely love the comparison of acting like people that don't like this view being horny is similar to like throwing acid on someone or abducting a child. <laughs> Cause like nobody in the comments has said anything against being like horny or anything. If anything, I've just seen them calling you a porn addict. <laughs> the issue that people have, the issue on the table here, is quite literally that people find it gross that you look at porn at work. Not that you're horny, but that you're looking at furry NSFW art at your desk. I know you guys need to keep moving the goalposts so you don't look like absolute fucking degenerate coomers on the internet, but nobody has made the anti-horny argument. We are just making the simple, don't look at fucking porn at your desk, you fucking degenerate argument. Okay, I need to break character for a second. Have we like truly devolved to the point where we think that like viewing porn in public is just a totally normal thing? Let alone at your desk, at your job, where people can see you? Because as much as I'm all for sex being like not seen as taboo, I think we may have crossed the line. <laughs> Mayhaps workplace porn consumption is a bit too far. Like, it's one thing to want, like, normal sex education. It is a completely different thing to think looking at furry NSFW art at work is completely normal. You know, thankfully this is probably just a terminally online kind of problem, but still. The coomers are really just wilding out when they actually do decide to leave their house. And lastly, just for fun, I just wanted to share my favorite little uh, supportive tweet because um, it's creative, I'll give it that. You actually have a moral obligation to look at furry porn while you're on the clock in order to counteract your unfortunate participation in the capitalist machine. No, Miss HR lady. I swear I wasn't trying to commit workplace sexual harassment by looking at furry porn at, you know, my desk where everybody could see. I was simply just raging against the machine. <laughs> so overall, at the end of the day, do I hate this person that made this comic and all the people that support looking at porn at work? Nah, eh, I, I wouldn't say I hate them. No. Do I think that they are disgusting degenerates that are one HR complaint away from losing their job just because they decided to, you know, look at furry NSFW art instead of doing their job? Absolutely. And HR would have every right to do that again because, as I stated earlier, it's sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. So if you do see yourself agreeing with these degenerate little furries and think that watching porn at work is completely and utterly normal, um, 
go to therapy. You might just become patient zero for getting porn addiction written in the DSM-5. And that's gonna do it for this little video on some Twitter furry degeneracy, and I really hope you guys liked it because uh, every sentence that I read regarding these tweets just made me lose more and more brain cells, and um, I don't think I could recover from this. Fun little news. I'm working on a little bit longer of a video that's gonna be on a little controversial video game that I remember coming out and I didn't play it, but I'm gonna play it for this video and all that, so I get to sit in a little gamer chair and play my little video game and talk about little video games, so um... That's something that'll happen. Hopefully that'll come out next month. It just kind of depends on a bunch of things, but you know, whatever happens, happens. And in the meantime, I will definitely be putting out little short videos like this, but uh, I am very excited to get this video out to you guys. But until the next video, try not to look at an SFW furry art while you're at your nine to five for your employment's sake, as well as your coworker's sanity's sake. And I will see you guys later. Bye.